Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitz One TV here, aka G Lauren Thirty Three. I'm back here today with a reaction video on the channel for y'all, and we're gonna be reacting to the new gameplay trailer for Full Power Jiren in Xenoverse Two. This was released. Uh, this was released via Xenoverse 2's TV station. I forget what it's called. I think it's like Canton City TV, right? But now they're using that, the actual TV station in the game, to release, you know, news on updates to the game and things of that nature, which is pretty cool, right? So earlier today, they dropped a trailer for uh, Full Power Jiren featuring his moveset and, you know, what you can expect from him as a character. We already have base Jiren in the game. This is his Full Power Jiren from uh, Dragon Ball Super episode 130 and 131. Right. Uh, and there's also a tease here at the end of the trailer for something else that could be coming in the future. So we're going to watch this real quick. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. And yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get into the reaction. Let's go. All right. So you guys know you guys can just go to your Xenoverse 2, head over to the TV station and watch it for yourself. I love it. They they bring in the Japanese actors of Trunks and Supreme Kai time to, you know, get their their line for these little videos. Okay, give it to us, man. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Unlock the scroll and show us Jiren. Oh, I like it. So you have Ultras and Goku just beating Jiren's ass. This is just like what happened in episode 130 of Dragon Ball Super. Oh, look at him. Hey. Woo! Yes, sir. He looks clean with the aura. So that looks like that's going to be a counter move. Power rush. Yep. Ooh! He got the he got the eyes, the, the eye hits. Yes. Wait, what? That's it? I was hoping they would show it. I know Jiren, he will have power rush, but he'll also have one more ultimate. A new ultimate too. So I don't know if that's part of his new of. Uh, I don't know if that you know that part that we just saw right there with the, you know the the eye hits right. I don't know if that's part of Power Rush or if that's part of his new ultimate. But you know, it's a very small look. There's still a lot that they're hiding, but I guess he looks clean. He looks good. He's gonna be fun as how to play with. I love playing with the other Jiren, so I expect this Jiren to be fun as how to play with as well. うん。そうね。悟空君ですら、ギリギリの戦いをしていた相手だもの。歴史改編なんかされたら、とんでもないことになっちゃいそうね。この、この。Wait a because if it's a scroll, right, then, you know, we all know Xenoverse is about, you know, uh, history and time and making sure the Dragon Ball timeline stays on its normal course. So does that mean we're getting the Tournament of Power story mode finally? This would, this would be stuff that I would prefer they wait till Xenoverse 3 to give us. But, hey, I'm still going to play it. I'll make videos on it like I've done with all the other Xenoverse DLCs. But... All right, so this is like the little, the, the, the little teaser that I'll see people talk on social media about. All right, Wasteland. This is the Broly movie. Clearly, Vegeta and Goku learning how to fuse, right? And where's Piccolo? Clearly, this is a newly animated clip. And that's it. So that's the tease, so... Hold up, so let me end the video. Let me get back to this. And that's how it ends. So basically the little tease is Goku and Vegeta, of course, like learning how to fuse in the Gogeta from the Broly movie. 
We already have Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta in the game. He's in. He's a pretty great character, right? You guys can debate in the comment section who is better, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta in Xenoverse 2. But why, why would we be getting this if Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta was already in the game? Well, I was thinking maybe this could mean that we could be getting base Gogeta, right? We do have base Vegito in the game already. Yeah, and we know that base Vegito can transform into Super Saiyan along with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. So maybe we're getting base uh, Gogeta to go along with already having Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And you guys, if you guys play Dokkan or Legend, they already have cards, right, you know, separate for all of Gogeta's form. So maybe they're just doing that for his universe as well. I wouldn't mind that, right? I still want us to eventually get base Broly from the Broly movie that can transform into, you know, his other forms. So I would not have a problem with that whatsoever. Maybe we're getting base Gogeta that can transform into uh, Super Saiyan. Maybe, potentially, that could be it. Maybe we could be getting Veku in the game. Or not Veku, what's it I for, I forget. You guys know the names of Goku and uh, Vegeta's uh, other fusions. It's slipping my mind. It's like, uh, I, don't, I don't remember them. You know, maybe we're getting the fat, you know, version of Gogeta and the skinny version of Gogeta. I, I would doubt it. I don't think so, but that would be kind of hilarious if we actually got that, right? Uh, but the thing that I feel like is most likely, and we don't have any confirmation of this, we don't, we won't know about this until they tell us. No matter if it's in V Jump or we get another content city update, I think this most likely could mean that we're getting the Broly movie in story mode. That would make the most sense, right? You have this newly animated right uh, clip, right, of Goku and Vegeta, you know, learning how to fuse from the Broly movie. We already have Broly in the game. We have Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, right? They could easily do a story mode, for, uh, you know, of the, the Broly movie. I, like I said earlier, I would prefer that they would save these things for Xenoverse 3. I would prefer they save, you know, the Tournament of Power and the Broly movie, right? You know, I would prefer they save those things for story mode for Xenoverse 3. Because what's Xenoverse 3 going to be, right? If, you're, if you've already put almost everything that's happened in the Dragon Ball Super anime already in Xenoverse 2. And I love Xenoverse 2, but I feel like we all are ready for Xenoverse 3 at this point. But it's like all the content that they could be giving us for Xenoverse 3, they just jam-packing the Xenoverse 2 DLCs. This is, guys, this is going to be the 13th, the 13th DLC pack. And I'm going to play it, I'm going to enjoy it, because I love Xenoverse. It's still a great game to this day. But, in all honesty, honesty, they should just be saving this stuff for DLC pack 13, in my opinion. But if we are getting the Broly movie in the Xenoverse 2 story mode in the next DLC pack... I'm not going to complain. I'm going to play it. But, you know, it's going to be fun as hell. Uh, but, you know, this is stuff that they should honestly be saving for Xenoverse 3. But, uh, yeah. You know, so Jiren. Jiren looks great. He looks fantastic. I love his aura. Love his moveset. Looks clean as hell. You know, and I cannot wait to play with him. Just like I know you guys cannot wait to play with him as well. It's going to be, you know, fun. It's going to be great. You know, it'll be interesting. Will full power Jiren be better than base Jiren? You know, I already have a lot of fun playing with base Jiren, so that'll be interesting. I know everyone's going to be making those comparisons. I wish that they showcased the rest of Jiren's moveset, but this is a small teaser trailer, right? As we get closer to the actual release of the next uh, Xenoverse DLC, we'll probably get a longer trailer, and we'll get to see everything that Jiren has to offer as a character. Plus, remember, they still haven't revealed those who's going to be the second character in the Xenoverse DLC pack. Plus, if we're getting a story mode, this is going to be, you know, a pretty crazy uh, Xenoverse pack, right? Two characters, a story mode, right? All the costumes and the parallel quests and all that. It's going to be fun. It's going to give us something to play for a little bit. So I'm not going to complain there. But so Jiren looks great for what we've seen so far. Can't wait to get my hands on him eventually, play with him. And, you know, make videos. It's going to be it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great time. But let me know what you guys thought of this little teaser trailer, right? The little sneak peek we get at Jiren and a little bit of his moves. And what do you guys think is going to be the this little tease? What is, what what does this little clip of Goku and Vegeta fusing or learning how to fuse into Gogeta? What do you guys think it is? Is it based Gogeta? Is it are we going to get 
uh, Goku and Vegeta's failed fusions in the game? I doubt it, but anything's on the table at this point. Or are we getting uh, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie finally in story mode? I don't know, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section, right? If you guys enjoyed and you guys are hyped for DLC Pack 13, leave a like on this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll keep you guys updated as always with all the latest Xenoverse news. Uh, you guys are amazing, man. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new by hitting the big red button and the bell right next to my name, Fitzmook TV, so you guys are notified anytime I drop a new video. Also follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below. We should be having some a lot of a lot more Dragon Ball news coming in the coming weeks. You know, from the Dragon Ball Super movie, from Xenoverse. Also the hype is slowly building towards Vegeta's new form and seeing that in action in the next Dragon Ball Super manga chapter. So a lot's coming guys. A lot's coming. But as always, thank you guys for the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and healthy y'all. Peace.